This is the Forgotten Realms Interactive Atlas. Um, it's really old. I don't even think you can buy this anymore. But it does provide a pretty good map of Faerun. And interestingly enough, it's um, a full globe. You can tell that by going to the globe up here. And it's horrible resolution, but you can actually pan around the world, which definitely indicates that it's a full globe. So uh, you take this and you wrap it around, or you extract that, and um, you put that into a Bing map tool window, and you get this. Not too bad. You may also notice that when you click on these purple boxes, um, it actually opens up a more detailed uh, map. Um, these are campaign cartographer files, um, which is what the Forgotten Realms Atlas is based off of. So what I did is I laid the more detailed map over the larger map, or the less detailed map. And when I zoom in, it will eventually change over. There we go. You can see the line here where the new layer has... Instead of making one set of tiles, I made two sets of tiles. One with a low res, one with the higher resolution. I manually aligned the higher resolution map. Um, it's got to be a better way, but that's what I did. And you can see that it does a pretty good job. If I toggle that higher res off, toggle back on, you can see that's pretty darn close. The stuttering is because I'm using uh, Windows Presentation Foundation, or WPF, instead of Silverlight. Um, they're supposed to be very similar. And the problem is with that, Bing Map Tools, and the fact that these tiles are actually stored as local files instead of on a web server. It doesn't seem to handle local files very well. And for my testing, I didn't feel like posting them on a web server, server anywhere. Now, this looks very promising, and I could continue to zoom in farther. Uh, with Forgotten Realms, and obviously I could extract this um, into the map tools as well. And I think you can make a fairly seamless map of Forgotten Realms using this particular technique. Now, the biggest problem here is when... Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. So, look at the purple box here you can see that um, this line here kind of goes through this section of the continent but when I click on it the whole continent is displayed so the bounding boxes that are displayed don't match 100 percent between the different layers of detail and that makes it very difficult to align uh, there's no reference that I'm aware of to do any kind of calculated alignment so the alignment will have to be done by hand and I need to find some tools to help align me, help me do that. So far, I've just done it really by hand as far as scaling and the offset. And it was a real pain in the ass. It took me a couple hours to um, work this thing up. But um, I think the end result is pretty decent and it has definite possibilities.